Hey guys, I'm Zero and Beaker from Zero and Beaker Animations, and today I'm going to show you how to install shaders into your Minecraft. This is going to be a really quick, pretty unprofessional tutorial that I'll replace with soon. But here's how we're going to do it. First of all, we're going to open up our internet browser. We're going to head over to Optifine. We've got to install the mod. Go to Downloads. Click the latest download, especially if you're using 1.12. Then you gotta wait it out. Click skip add, download the jar file. Now you can close that out. You'll be brought to, and then uh, insert the link that I've given you in the description. It, just, you know, click that. It'll take you here. Click keep on this. Go to download a zip. Just click that. usually. Oh yeah, it might take a minute. Yep, there we go. So it's generating the zip, so it'll take a little bit. But once it's downloaded, we'll show you how to do that. Take care of that. Open the Optifine, click install, and you'll click OK. I'm gonna cancel this because I've already got my shader pack downloaded. And what we're going to do, just don't, don't mind this little image thing up here. That's for me, protection for, me, for myself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and ho go ahead and open up this. What we're going to type up here is percent app data percent. So it looks just like that. You can see that there. And then we're just going to hit enter. It'll take you to this page. Go under .minecraft, and you should be able to see a shader packs folder. That is, if you've already launched Minecraft, which you probably should have after installing the Optifine mod. All you need to do is, with your zipped file, you want to unzip it so that you just have shader packs here, and you're going to click and drag that, and drop that into the .minecraft folder. You've successfully installed all of the shaders. So. What's the next thing you're going to do? Simply go ahead and launch Minecraft. So you're going to go ahead and launch it. And now if we go into our builds world, this is going to get really slow on the... Oh, actually not bad. So we can see Oh, there we go. I've already got a shader running. So you can see the shadows of the shader. What you're going to want to do is go into video settings, shaders, and you can choose from all of the shaders that were just installed in that shader packs folder. Personally, my favorite that is moderately easy to run if you've got an, a decent graphics card is the Eben shaders. I've also got some things already set up because this is my personal shader packs folder, so you'll be able to get all the information that you need. You can see it's running at a pretty nice 60, mile, 60 miles per hour, 60 frames per second, so yeah, there you go. And if you're running a lower end computer, I'd suggest using this bump shadow waving, not this one, just the bump shadow waving, as it's a pretty easy to run shader. It looks very original Minecrafty, but includes shadows which are very very nice and if you want the shadows to look a little better just set the ch shadow quality to 2 and there you go now you've got shaders in your minecraft world enjoy